of John uh, is also even more fitting. Um, it really has been a major career that he's had and continues to have. Um, he's impacted everybody in this room, either directly or indirectly. And I always like to say, and use, use the baseball analogy, John has forgotten more about marketing than most of us will ever know about marketing. So um, it's really crazy that I'm up here because I remember meeting John nearly 25 years ago and being in awe of him. I still am in awe of him. And I mean that sincerely. Um, he's been a mentor. He was my boss for several years, which was a great thrill. Um, for me, being able to be here and help recognize John is special because John treats everybody with such great respect. And he knows, obviously I run a marketing organization, but he also knows how to care about family. He has tremendous passion for the organization that he works for here at NC Universal. And he has passion for everybody that has worked around him. And it's quite, uh, it, it's really quite inspiring for myself and people that have worked with him over the years. So um, it's really uh, an honor and privilege to be able to recognize you as uh, chair of the board and the rest of the board uh, recognizes you for the Lifetime Achievement Award. And now it's my pleasure to turn it over to the CEO of NBC Universal, Steve Burton. So I'll be brief. Scott called me a couple months ago and said, John's getting this award, would you come and say a few words? I said, I will do anything for John Miller. He said, well, there are gonna be about 200 people in the Rainbow Room that'll be drinking for three hours. <laughs> It'll be about nine o'clock at night when you, when you do it, and this is proof that I will do anything for John Miller. Uh, I came to NBC Universal six years ago and met a whole bunch of people right after the deal was announced, including John. And I asked him what he did, and he explained that he was getting the entire company working well together and promoting things that were important to the company. I said, well, that's great, because that's exactly what we want to do. We want to use the scale of this company to make sure that when there's a big event like the Olympics or the Voice or Despicable Me, the whole company gets behind it. And he said, well, I'm thinking of retiring. And I said, John, you can't retire. You have to stay. And John, thank goodness, has stayed and been such an important part of our company. Uh, he literally can get anyone in our company to cooperate with anyone else, which is something in a big media company. Often in big companies, people in one division compete with people in other divisions, but you get none of that with John. And when you think about why, it's because he's always motivated by doing the right thing. He never has his own personal agenda. He's the consummate gentleman very creative, really understands the business, and when he goes to someone and says, this is important, they understand why it's important. I have never had anybody complain for one minute about John, and he's constantly twisting people's arms to do things that are against their self-interest. He's really a very, very important part of our company, and I'll say in front of all of you as witnesses, I hope he stays forever. He has lifetime employment uh, at NBC Universal. He's a great gentleman. Uh, very creative, great marketer, been a big part of our company, obviously told me that he's been part of Promax for 46 years, uh, 42 years, sorry, I rounded up, he'll be a member for another four years. Uh, but he really embodies the best of our company, and it's a pleasure for me to introduce John Miller. for the, the kind words that's uh, nice to know I have an employee forever. I uh, keep trying to escape, but you know, I keep going to pull back. I will say one thing that I would say about Steve, even if he wasn't here, is that Steve is a, is a great guy to work for, and also a enormously respectful of television and this company and this building. As we sit here in 30, in, in this, uh, in 30 Rock, as well as the Rainbow Room, or if you walk around the lobby, much of that has been renovated because of Comcast and Steve's doing. It turns out that they found a sort of a second floor that has been rolled over at some point during uh, the RCA issues when they need a little bit, and he said, let's just renovate it the way it was before. I don't think there's a payback for that, but that's the kind of guy Steve is, respectful of broadcasting, and I, it's enormous, it said an awful lot about his respect for television and this building, as well as NBC, and so thank you very much for that. Um, also, thanks to Promax, um, Steve, Scott, and I think maybe Bill Bergman and Chris Sloan are partially to blame for me being here. Um, I thank them, them all. And, you know, the Lifetime Achievement Award means that you 
actually had to live a fair amount of your life. Um, and there is something to be said that the advanced age comes with that. But in the recent episode of Florida and Orlando, uh, the fact that I am getting a Lifetime Achievement Award when so many other people have lost theirs, who knows if there wasn't a Lifetime Achievement in some of those people. And so while I may be getting this award, I must tell you that life is way more precious. So Promax for 60 years, and Mrs. Dawson, I did work with Tom, I did know him, sat on the board with him, and he was a great leader of that organization when it was largely populated by station people and radio people. We remember them and him. So, um, so for me, it's been over over 40 years. Um, of this great organization, and quite honestly, this organization uh, has provided light and inspiration to marketers for years, and continues to do that. And it becomes increasingly more important in today's television landscape or media landscape, I, I should say, where it becomes ever more complex in a way to get people to watch a show or experience media of your choice. I, I must say that television is an art form by committee, and I could not be accepting a Lifetime Achievement Award if I had not had an extraordinary amount of very talented and creative people working for me all of that time. And with all of you here who have worked with me, for me, or have touched me, this award is at least partially yours. I thank you very much for your efforts. In addition to that, I, I could not have done all I have done without a significant amount of very influential bosses or executives that I've worked with over time. Many of the NBC Sports Group is here, and I applaud all of you for your efforts. Uh, your, your talents and energy uh, inspire me virtually every day. But going back to the days of a guy named Steve Somer, who sort of put me in this job, he was the P.T. Barnum of promotion in the early 80s, <laughs> and then on to um, uh, Graham Tartikoff and Graham Tinker. Uh, the, the next era goes to uh, you know, Bob Wright, Don Olmeyer, Warren Littlefield, interesting times. Um, uh, that I was, again, a peacemaker among those two. Um, rewarded with some stock options as a result because of it. Um, in addition to that, then it goes on to um, other people who were there at the time. Randy Falco, who's now on the Univision. Uh, David Zasloff, who's doing Discovery. Jeff Zucker, who's at, at uh, CNN an awful lot of people who have much touched my lives, including the current group, uh, Mark Lazarus, who runs the uh, sports group, uh, Steve Burke, and to a small degree, Brian Roberts. I thank all of them for whatever contribution they have given me in, in this time. Of course, of all the people that I mentioned, uh, it, it wouldn't have been possible without a family that was understanding, and of course, the most understanding woman in the room, my wife, Sharon. <laughs> vacations, for uh, late nights, for weekends, getting up at five in the morning to look at the ratings. Uh, for all of that, she, she has put up with it all, encouraged me, and, and very rarely uh, has complained about any of it, with the exception of saying you should take more time, and I think she was always doing that in my best interest. So thank you very much. You deserve a Lifetime Achievement Award yourself. <laughs> consider you colleagues and friends and associates because you are more marketers who are coming into marketing in an extraordinarily complex, difficult, and yet very exciting time. Uh, never before has it been more difficult to get people to experience something, know about something, watch something. And so all of you, it's an opportunity to invent and reinvent yourself. I ran the marketing department of NBC Television Network for 25 years, and people would ask me, what's it like having the same job for 25 years? And we said, you know, I never had the same job more than one year at a time, because the world kept changing. Well, for all of you, it's changing at light speed. And it's up to you to provide inspiration to those who work for you, uh, to those who, to whom you report, 
and of course the audience to whom you serve. Uh, all of that is, is your duty and I'm ordering you to do it very well. I am sort of nearing the final chapters of my life. He's written a couple new ones apparently. But, uh, the, the, I, I'm, I'm probably getting the final chapters. For all of you, your chapters are still being written. You're writing your book and I can't wait to read that book as it unfolds. I thank you very much for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Have a great convention. Thank you.